I'm always willing to lend a helping hand, uh, give you a shirt off his back, anything and everything that he can do to help. Remembering and honoring a friend and colleague. You know, it's been nearly a month now since what was left of Hurricane Helene hit western North Carolina. That storm leveled communities, destroyed towns, and took multiple lives. And tonight, we are remembering and honoring one of those lives taken. Battalion Chief Tony Garrison. He was 52 years old. Good evening. This is the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Natalie Wilson. He was with the Fairview Volunteer Fire Department in Wake County. He was one of many firefighters who responded to Western North Carolina to help with recovery efforts. But he was killed during a landslide caused by Helene back on September 27th. Well, Fox Ace Justin Lundy joins us in the studio tonight after speaking with Garrison's former co worker. So, Justin, how did he describe his colleague? Daniel Holt says Garrison was a family man who loved Big and had the pleasure of seeing him climb the ranks as a firefighter in Buncombe County. You see those leaders and you see what kind of heart they have for the community and the service, and it, it, it drives you into your into your future. It's the type of impact Tony Garrison had on many people in Buncombe County, including Daniel Holt, a grand firefighter who at one point lived in the area. Um, him and my aunt were friends as I was growing up. He was one of the guys that would actually come and spend some time at the farm and such. Um, he, he started off in Fairview 20 some years ago. Holt says Garrison started off as a firefighter and worked his way up to battalion chief of the Fairview Volunteer Fire Department. I actually worked full time for the um, fire department of Skyland, which is a neighboring department with Fairview. Um, I actually ran mutual aid calls with them, um, structure fire, stuff like that. On September 27th, Battalion Chief Garrison died in line of duty caught in a mudslide. Holt says during his second deployment to assist with recovery efforts in Buncombe County, he met with Garrison's family. On this last deployment, I was actually able to sit down and talk to his wife and kids and uh, we kind of discussed how good of a person he was and the heart that he had to help other people in the community. As many first responders mourn the loss of Garrison and continue to navigate recovery efforts in West North Carolina, Holt is asking everyone to lean on faith. Just continue to, to pray for him, to lend a hand when you can, um, pay attention to what you're donating and see what they're truly needing right now. Garrison's family held a private funeral for the firefighter today. Natalie. Thank you.